Hello, my name is Oktar Babun. I'm a medical doctor, brain surgeon from Turkey. I will speak on behalf of Harun Yahya. Harun Yahya is an internationally known Muslim intellectual from Turkey who has written more than 250 books, science, faith, and politics related. The theory of evolution, which claims that all the living beings are products of coincidences, denies the existence of a creator, and which is also the most powerful ideology against religion today. However, new scientific evidences from all the branches of the sciences, genetics, molecular biology, microbiology, biochemistry, paleontology, all falsify the claims of the theory of evolution. Now we will speak about the fossil evidence. Fossils are remnants of the living beings, usually skeletal fractures, which lived in the past. They are usually in petrified form. And fossil evidence gives us the most uh, concrete evidence about the, uh, the life and the origin of life. Now, according to the theory of evolution, as you know, species evolved randomly and step by step gradually over millions of years. However, let's see the fossil evidence now. For example, according to the evolutionists, starfish, they say, evolved into a fish over a hundred million year old period. They say step by step, gradually. So if evolution theory be true, we must have the fossil evidence of how fish, half starfish, three quarter fish, one quarter uh, uh, starfish. 90% fish, 10% starfish must have lived in the past. We must come across the fossil evidence of this. If you check the fossil evidence, according to the scientists, we have more than 100 million fossils today. We have starfish fossils. Yes, we have starfish fossils. Do we have fish fossils? Yes, we have fish fossils. Do we have any of these monstrous animals, so-called transitional forms, which are transitions from one species to other species, monstrous animals, with no head, little bit head, square head, comma head, no eye, eye back there, little 50% eye, 50% wing, single wing. No, we do not have any single of these fossil evidence. Fossils definitely proves us the fact of creation by God. Mark Zeneke, for example, a, uh, 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 today, uh, 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 he's a scientist, evolutionist science of the 20th century. Zanecki said, a major problem in proving the theory has never uh, has been the fossil record. This record has never revealed the traces of Darwin's hypothetical intermediate variants. Instead, species appear and disappear abruptly. And this anomaly has pulled the creation's argument and each species was, uh, that each species was created by God. And Charles Darwin was aware of this fact. And he devoted, uh, he, uh, devoted a special chapter difficulties of theory. In this chapter, he made this confession about the lack of these transitional forms. He said, why if species have descended from other species by fine gradations, do we not everywhere see innumerable transitional forms? Why is not all nature in confusion, instead of the species being, as we see them, well defined? But as by this theory, innumerable transitional forms must have existed. Why do we not now find them embedded in the countless numbers in the crust of the earth? Why do we not now find close linking intermediate varieties? This difficulty for a long time quite confounded me. He's right. There are no transitional forms. Cambrian Age. This name may not be familiar to you. Cambrian Age is the oldest geological layer. It's the, almost the beginning of life in the Earth. We have the fossils of the first visible form fossils of the living beings, uh, which is older than 500 million years old called Cambrian Age. From this age, we have uh, invertebrate marine animals, such as starfish, uh, snails, worms, jellyfish, that kind of invertebrate marine animals. And these are the fossils of the first visible forms of animals. Charles Darwin, he gives us a very concrete criteria to falsify his theory. He said, if numerous species belonging to the same genre or families have really started into life all at once, the fact will be fatal to the theory of descent with slow modification through natural selection. So this fatal stroke came from the Cambrian period. It's called Cambrian explosion, even by the evolutionist scientists. All in this Cambrian period, all phyla, basic animal groups, appeared all of a sudden, sudden appearance. No ancestral forms, no ancestors. Stunning complexity, they have very complex organ systems, such as eyes, gills, blood circulation. Richard Dawkins, he is the number one evolution, the foremost evolutionist today. He is also a militant atheist. He made this confession about the Cambrian period. He said, the Cambrian strata of rocks are the oldest ones in which we find most of the major invertebrate groups. 
and we find many of, uh, of them already in an advanced state of evolution. The very first time they appear, it is as though they were just planted there without any evolutionary history. So they appear all of a sudden at the Cambrian period. Of course, what does that mean, all of a sudden appearance? Creation. On the, on the left side, you see this so-called imaginary family tree of evolution. According to the uh, evolutionists, they expected a tree-like structure. First, a single cell was formed by random, by chances, and the species evolved like branches of tree from this first single cell. However, on the right we see the real fossil evidence. At the Cambrian period, at the bottom line, far more than 500 million years ago, all these lines represent basic animal groups, different animal groups, more than 50 of them appear all of a sudden at the Cambrian period without any ancestors, without any transitions which, require, which is required by the theory of evolution. Of course, sudden appearance of the animals with perfect and complex forms proves the fact of creation and it refused the theory of evolution, refused the uh, expectations of the theory of evolution. Thank you.